made us even richer. But the fact is, we, other than yesterday, which was uh, something pretty bad with respect to the virus, and we'll see what happens. I see the futures are up today, up fairly substantially. Yeah, but that's a, a very uh, serious thing. But we think we're in very good shape in the United States. We've essentially closed the borders to areas where we had to close them. And we had very few. We took in 32 people uh, over the last two days because they were sick and they're Americans and they're uh, great people. You know, what are you going to do? They're in quarantine. Uh, but we had essentially 12 people. Many of them are getting better now. Soon they'll all be better, we hope. And we're watching very carefully. So we've had a very, very good stretch of, uh, let's just say we're fortunate so far. And we think it's going to remain that way. China is working very, very hard. I've spoken to uh, President Xi, and they're working very hard. And uh, if you know anything about him, I think he'll be uh, in pretty good shape. They're, uh, they've had a, uh, a rough patch. And I think right now they have it. It looks like they're getting it under control more and more. They're getting it more and more under control. So uh, I think that's a problem that's going to go away. But we lost almost a 1,000 points yesterday on the market. And that's something, you know, things like that happen where — and you have it in your business all the time — had nothing to do with you. It's an outside uh, source that nobody would have ever predicted. If you go back six months or three months ago, nobody would have ever predicted. But let's see. I think it's going to be under control. And I think uh, I can speak for our country, for our country is uh, under control. But again, we do business with a lot of other countries. We take care. We work with other countries. We want other countries to be happy, healthy, and well. They've got to be happy, healthy, and well. It's very simple. And uh, so let's see how it all works out. But I think it's going to work out fine. I hope so. We're working very hard. We're spending a tremendous amount of money also on we just asked for two and a half billion dollars on getting everything ready just in case something should happen and also helping other nations that really aren't equipped to do it. So with that, it's an honor to be with you. And if you'd like to ask some questions and find out how much you should invest in the United States of America, I'll tell you exactly where to invest and how to invest. We just did a lot of business with India where they're buying three billion dollars worth of helicopters, great helicopter we have helicopters like we make the best military equipment in the world by far and uh, you know would uh, the prime minister actually said if you were president 30 years ago would have all your equipment but they started buying many years ago from another nation and others and, and now they're starting to buy from us so that's an honor but we're up to a pretty high number we'll be up very quickly to a pretty high number and we do make by far the best and they want to have the best so uh, that's what we do. So thank you all very much. If the press wants to stay for a couple of questions, you know, we're going to be having a uh, news conference at 5 o'clock. So you can go to that, or you can stay and hear some of these questions from truly some of the greatest business leaders anywhere in the world. Now, if you'd like to do, I could do this, Steve. I could read the book for you, and we could have a nice, beautiful little speech. It will take five minutes, and you'll be You'll fall asleep, but they'll be — well, they might find it interesting. I don't know about them, but you guys have heard it before. But uh, please, if you have any questions, please. Anybody? Okay, let's go home. That, boy, we must, have, we must have done a very good job, if you'd have. Do you want to say something about the energy business? Yes, sir. Uh, please. How are we doing? We're doing great, sir. My name's Dan Bruyette. I have the privilege of serving the United States as President. Uh, as Secretary of Energy, conversations here in India uh, with my counterpart, Minister Pradhan. Uh, I expect that uh, in the very near future we're going to have some new energy deals. Yeah. Uh, and so far, that, that noise. Sounds nice. <laughs> Sounds like a Trump rally, actually. Yes. <laughs> we're actually saying hello to the embassy people as soon as we finish. Yes, sir, I'll just end with this. In the last two years, we've seen a remarkable uptick in the purchases of U.S. oil and gas. Uh, by India, and uh, when the president was elected in 2017, that number was approximately 25,000 barrels per day of crude oil. It is now over 250,000 uh, barrels per day, a tenfold increase, and we expect it to it's going up. get better from here. It's going up very, very rapidly. Thank you very much, Dan. Really great job. Where is Robert? Yes, please. I'd like to hear why some of these companies have decided to invest in the United States to make big manufacturing. Okay, good. Would anybody like to say? Go ahead, please. Mr. President, I'm Chandrasekhar, representing the Tata Group. 
Yep. Just let me start by following instructions. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for making a group chat. Good. Uh, and our group has 10 different companies in the United States. Uh, we have annual revenues of close to $25 million. And we are manufacturing plants in Pittsburgh. Great and job, yeah. And then we have a chemicals plant in Wyoming. And we employ about 42,000 people. And uh, your tax reforms uh, is exceptionally very, very important. So which to you is more important, the tax cuts? We did massive tax cuts. Or the regulation cuts? Because I've had a lot of people in your positions running the biggest companies in the world saying the tax cuts were very important, but the regulation cuts may have been more important. See, regulation cuts are more important in order to start new businesses. Right. Uh, for example, because new business, we have some issues, which we represent the government with all now. Uh, and we run our very large IT company as well in the United States. And uh, we are bringing skills. We are trying to work with Ivanka. Uh, right. We want to try and uh, skill one million people in the United States. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. That's so great. Deeply, uh, I heard that you were doing that, and I really appreciate it, and Ivanka appreciates it. And, you know, she started off, she wanted to get 500,000 people jobs. And if you know her, within about two weeks, she had that one done. And I think you're up to over 15 million people being trained by great companies, some great companies. Walmart was very much instrumental in some of the companies in this room. Yeah, they've done a great. So it's up to 15. And I don't think government could teach jobs like that. In other words, you teach something and it's complex stuff. Government is not equipped to do that. We could put all the money we want into government to do it, and they're just not equipped to do it. So thank you very much. That's fantastic. Great story. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. President, uh, you talk about regulations, so I right. do want to confirm that uh, in 2017, we put up the first automotive assembly plant in Southeast Michigan in 25 years. Right, that's right. We're making off-road utility vehicles. And the speed with which we could set up the company to get operations going, we have not experienced anywhere in the world. So we've invested about a billion dollars. And uh, right now, we're in the shortlist of the bid for the United States Postal Service new delivery van, a decision which Good. may come up by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. that comes through. We're going to very happily put in a lot billion and employ about 2,000 people. Very good. You've done a great job. Uh, so when are the bids due? When are they due? Um, we are told sometime around August. Uh, How many vans is it that you'd be making? They're about 180,000. Wow. Budget, so That's a big business, isn't it? When we were told, we were told that, you know, the postal service vans are actually, they are, they are the right hand drive. Right. That's and right. Guess who makes right-hand drive diesel vehicles? Well, that's all Indian automakers. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we're bidding for Good. Well, good luck. Thank that's you. great. That's good luck. Yes, sir, please. Sir, my name is Anil uh, Part of the We have invested. Yeah. Good. We have invested almost half a billion dollars in the pharmaceutical, very sophisticated things like <coughs> nuclear medicine, allergy. We are present in 22 states. Almost 2,000 people. And the other thing that we are doing is starting drug discovery in America for oncology. That's a biotech venture for new drugs, especially for for, for therapies right, which, sure. are, which have very limited drugs available. Right. So, so my question to you is on the on mainly on the healthcare side, how do you see it for, for companies like ours? Coming in from India, yeah. setting up manufacturing plants in, in the state. All right. Healthcare is very important to the Republican Party, I will tell you. And we haven't been talking about it. We've been doing. We got rid of the individual mandate, which was a disaster in Obamacare, which really ended Obamacare. We're now taking uh, the shell of Obamacare and really running it well. I had a choice. I could run it well or I could run it poorly. Then everybody would be upset and they'd blame President Obama. We decided to run it well but would like to terminate it and put in great health care. We can do that. Uh, when you look at...